There's just so much that I want to share on today's video. First of all, we'll start with a clip of Celestia where she's giving a very shocking warning to everyone who's uh, part of or planning to attend the Maverick City tours, the one that we've been seeing that have been going around and everything, but also just generally to uh, people who subscribe to Maverick City and also to Kirk Franklin. And then there's a clip that I'm playing by Kirk Franklin where Kirk Franklin, he's shooting himself. Yes, I'm telling you, he just did it. He just did it to himself. Because immediately after that video by Kirk Franklin, you, you will allow me to actually pause that video. And then because there are several scriptures that I want to share with you guys, I'm just feeling a bit, how should I call it? Should I call it anger or what? I don't know. But really, 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 it has, that clip has just really boiled me up. I'm telling you, I don't know even how to say it. But immediately after that clip, I want just to pause it. And just to share with you some very uh, timely scriptures, some very timely scriptures, because guys, this the level of a deception in the world right now, it's crazy, it's crazy. And then after that, there's another clip again I'm playing with for Maverick City where they are actually shooting themselves again. Damn. Damn. Yeah, so... This is going to be quite a video. I'm telling you, this is going to be quite a video. But uh, if you have not yet subscribed, I'll ask that you subscribe. And then I'll kindly request that you check our new channel. Yes, we have a new channel. The link is right there in the description. Just click it. It's called Chris Baraka End Time Prophecies, where we talk about uh, end time, what is to happen, and uh, exactly what is happening that is part of the end time. So make sure you check that channel out. Go there and subscribe to that channel as well. And check out the content because it's quite amazing as well. So without further ado, guys, let's get in the video. Yo. Today's video it's something I'm telling you. Canceling Maverick City Music and Kirk Franklin, the stripper, their tour, they're turning away from it. Ever since I brought that rebuke, I think in June, it's having an effect. They're waking up. They're opening their eyes. They're asking themselves over there in Africa, do we not have enough problems? Do we not have enough issues? Do we really need to add sin to sin, as the Bible says? Let these people keep their problems in their own country. Cancel them absolutely. Put pressure on your organizers. Boycott them. I am telling you, when someone comes door to door selling you new lamps for old, as they did in Aladdin, the best thing you can do is to ignore them. Shame them. Reject them. Don't give them entry. Pray them out of the airspace until their plane will literally turn around and come back to LaGuardia and yeah, so you just had the warning right there. But I've been seeing people are posting and just to trying to show that, hey, we went to the concert. The concert was quite amazing. It wasn't as terrible as you say it should be or ETCXYZ. So it's not about you uh, proving any point really, but uh, it's for you to understand when you, are, when you are in that concert, what exactly is the spirit behind that concert? What exactly? Because in this video, I'm telling you, this video has a lot that is going on. So let me just show you. It was an MC. Even, even when I was wild and as a youngin, I always loved, you know, man, it's, I just believe in sovereignty. And I just believe that, well, even scripture teaches us that we don't find God. You know, God, God finds us. God chooses and picks us. You know, uh, scripture is full of predestination. And, 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 and so I believe that God always had his hand on me, even in my stumbles, even in my mess ups. And he put his, he put a love for himself inside of me to guarantee that he had me. Mm. And it just showed up in my music. It showed up in my love for him, uh, even in my flaws, even 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 in my imperfections, man. It's like when I mess up, I hate when I mess up. You know, like I read the stuff that people say about me right. and it always makes me want to check myself. You know, like I'm not the type of person that does not believe that um, that that people can not be critical. It's that I believe that people have a right to judge. We all judge you. 
you judged if you were going to wear that pinky ring. You right. judged the color of that hat. You judged what kind of cameras you want. The problem a lot of times with Christian judgment is that we judge people without the opportunity for the redemption and to bring them back in. It's like the 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 goal and the attempt sometimes with the way that some Christians judge is to condemn. Mm. It's never to win back. It, it's uh, but biblical judgment is let me love you enough to point some things out that I think may be standing in the way of you being your best. And I want to be here for you Correct. as you walk it out with me. So it's like when I'm dancing too much, I want people to say something because I want to check because you know how it is when you out there and you and your vibe, or whatever, you're not paying attention to what you're doing. And uh, you know what I'm saying? If I wear something that people think is a little too, you know, revealed, worldly, a little too worldly, I want to check that. It's yeah. like, you know what? Okay, you know what? But, you know, I'll pay attention to that. I always want to pay attention because I know that I don't have it all together. I've been, my career has been judged since the day I started. My career in 2024 is still being judged. And I still want people to know it matters to me that people want to know if I'm repping Jesus because I want to rep Jesus. But because I'm a sinner, because I'm not perfect, because I'm flawed, because we live in a fallen world, I'm not going to always get it right. And I want people to know that when I don't, you can say something. Even if they say it in very mean and harsh ways, it is my responsibility to bob and weave through all of the minutia and see that there are people that are looking to me to say, for some of us, you are the closest oracle that we get to hear word yeah. from God. Yeah. And so... I got to take that responsibility, even though I don't always like it. And what I've got to do is also in return, because, you know, lately we've had a lot of pastors that have kind of been, you know, you know, having their human exposed. Well, you know what? Let me say it like this. If you don't know what I'm saying this, I would humbly maybe not use the word exposed. Okay. It's because if that's the case, that everybody in the Bible was exposed. Yeah. But we call them heroes. The Bible is full of whoremongers, mm -hmm. prostitutes, hoes, yeah. liars, thieves, cheaters, adulterers, murderers. Mm -hmm. That, that is, that is the canon, yeah. you know, and, and we reference these people. We call these people people after God's own heart. We, we, we quote people. We quote murderers. We quote adulterers. We quote liars, but in real time, when people in real life make the same mistake, they're condemned. Mm. So the same book that you love that's full of it, when you get it in real time, mm. that's a little duplicitous. Mm. That's a little hypocritical. So I would say be exposed. I would say just be human. Yeah. We're having pastors right now that are, their humanity is showing. They're being sinners is showing. And and, and, and that's why it's very important that we remind people. I've got to remind people. These pastors have to remind people. I represent Jesus. I am not Jesus. Mm. Do not serve me. Do not worship me. Do not put me on pedestals I don't deserve because I'm a sinner. Mm. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory. Scripture says there's not one righteous, no, not one. So when we make people want to leave these perfect lives, we're setting people up to fall. Yes. Can you imagine his illustration? I gave him 10 when I'm talking too much. If you are on an island mm -hmm. and the only way off that island is this tight rope that is over sharks. The only way off the island is there's a tight. Yo, I have so much to say about uh, everything that Kirk Franklin is actually speaking about. First of all, uh, I love the fact that he believes that God chose him. He just said that right there in his own speech. He said that he believes that uh, actually it's God who chose him. And that's actually that is quite amazing. Yes, because, yeah, it's very scriptural. Yeah, but, 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 but as much as everything that Kirk Franklin is saying and it sounds to be good or to, uh, actually he's saying to trying to justify some of the things that he's trying to say about his previous actions and his, his way of conduct and his outfit. Yes, it may sound good, but the question is, is it scriptural, you know? What does the Bible say? First of all, he has gone ahead to say that he is a sinner. He has gone ahead to say that he is not perfect. 
he has gone ahead to say that he represent Jesus uh he is not Jesus himself and we agree to that he definitely there's no way that Kirk Franklin can be Jesus but now the question of he he has said that he is a sinner that's the first thing he has said that he is not perfect and then he has gone ahead to say that uh, there are different men of God who have actually gone ahead to do a lot of flows in the Bible and they are his hero because those are the people that he is looking up to. So it, it all sounds good, but is it scriptural? So first of all, there are some scriptures here that I want us to look at. And the first one is from the book of Romans 5, 12 to 19. I won't go through the whole of that, but uh, it's something that you can take your time and just be able to study. You know, the concept of sin, calling yourself a sinner. You know, when you say you're a sinner, uh, that is great. It's a whole great thing. You're talking about a a sinful nature when you say you're a sinner it's like for example if someone says they are south african you know i can say that i i have visited south africa but i am not south african but when i say i'm south african what it means it means that uh my citizenship i was born there i was raised there and everything definitely that is what it means it's like i am part of that whole culture and all that so when you say you are a sinner what does it mean it means that you have actually endorsed that sin nature so you are a sinner when i look at you you're a sinner the truth is a christian is not a sinner i'm not saying a christian cannot sin so i'm not saying a christian cannot sin that is not what i'm saying but i'm saying a christian is not a sinner because when you talk about being a sinner you're talking about a sinful nature and that nature was brought forth by adam and eve through their disobedience so i want you to study the book of romans 5 12 to 19 where so 19 it says for as many as for us by one man's disobedience he's talking about adam many were made sinners so by the obedience of one and that is jesus many be made righteous righteousness is not about your works it's not about that hey i'm living right i'm no longer smoking i'm no longer drinking alcohol no the bible says that righteousness is a gift it's like for example if i just come to your party and then uh according to the way that i perceive you or the, the way that I, I i think about you i decide to offer you some car keys so the car keys is not about you really it's about me i've decided to gift you i have gifted you that car so the same way you have done nothing for for you actually to to be you have done nothing to me so that i can be able to give you the, the gift it is a gift i've decided to give you out of my own i've just decided i've decided that hey let me gift you this car so the same way bible says that righteousness is a gift and jesus gifted us that but you see uh, many don't understand this this concept the concept of sin uh, the sinner many don't understand there's no way that a christian is a sinner there's no way that is not according to the bible bible says for as for us by one man's disobedience many were made sinners so by the obedience of one many are made righteous wow also in the book of uh, second corinthians uh, 5 17 it says therefore if any man be in christ so the question is are you a man in christ because the bible says if any man be in christ he is a new creature a new creature meaning that sinner that sinful nature bible says all things those it says that that nature has passed away and it says that behold all things have become new you know immediately we you you, you know the bible says that uh that it is finished and it says that sin has no dominion over you right now as a as, as a new creation creation as a new creature sin has no dominion over you but so many people are perishing so many people are living in ignorance because they lack the knowledge of god's word bible says my people it didn't say the people of the world it didn't say uh the people of the devil it says my own people are perishing because they lack knowledge which kind of knowledge is god talking about he's talking about this kind of knowledge the spiritual knowledge so many people do not know these things you know uh, Ephesians 4, 22, 24 says, um, 
put ye that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust that old man you see there was an old man and that is what i'm talking about the sin man the sinner the sinful nature and it says be and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that ye put on the new man which after god is created in righteousness and true holiness so so if Kirk Franklin is just coming here with a lot of uh, actually this 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 is deception in the highest order. This is quite a deception in the highest order. This is quite some deception in the highest order. And the Bible is very clear about uh, uh, about leadership, about leadership. If much is given to you, the way he said, you, you see Kirk Franklin says that he believes that God called him that god chose him so if he believes that bible says if much is given to uh, actually if much is given to you then much is expected from you much is expected from you much in terms of your character wow so so these these are these are let me just finalize on this Kirk Franklin matter with this scripture of 2 Corinthians 3 16 17. Because there's a comment there he made and he said that uh so many people in the Bible uh, actually uh, actually where he was talking about the heroes, they are full of flaws, and I don't I don't disagree to that. Yes, there are different men of God in the Bible that are full of different flows. But the Bible is saying the reason why God shared those stories to us is saying all scripture is given by inspiration of God and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So definitely that is given to us so that we can be able to be corrected. We can have a look at that life and say, hey, this one made, this one was a failure here. This one did this was a mistake. This one did this brand. So that in our time, we don't repeat the same thing. That was the reason why the scripture was given. And then 17, it says that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So the scriptures was given for us to be perfect. So you see, so Kirk Franklin here is saying that uh, he's saying that, hey, you know, I'm not perfect and I'm not intending to be perfect. And, you know, he's saying that he's still a sinner and all, the, all these things are contradiction of God's word. What I'll advise Kirk Franklin to go and do is just to go and study God's word. Clearly, I'm telling you, he just shot himself in this clip here. He shot himself. It just shows you clearly he has no, uh, he's not full of God's word. Like he needs to go and just study God's word. Guys, I'm just telling you the way it is. I'm just telling you. I'm just calling it out today the way it is. There's no more sugar coating on these guys telling you the way it is. This is just deception unto the highest order. Deception unto the highest order. And then finally, Hebrews 12, 2, Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So as a Christian, as a new creation, we ought to look unto Jesus. He didn't ask us to look at these heroes that Kirk Franklin is talking about here. That is not your role model. That is not your blueprint. Our blueprint is Jesus. Jesus is our role model. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who by the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. That is the one that we ought to look unto. That is the one that we ought to look unto. So if Kirk Franklin is looking for a role model, if he's looking for an example, that example ought to be Jesus. Because that is what the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Yo, so guys, I'm telling you, he just shot himself here. So there's a clip here I want to show you by uh, Maverick City as well. Just have a look at this as well. I'm telling you, these are just crazy times and crazy things are happening. Crazy. Come on. Do you know that? Watch me. Cause you know. I want the if I could. You know, th this is straight like carnality, right? Obviously, he's talented, 
but there's no spirit here. He's being he's being led by carnality. I fully believe that when he goes on tour and he does concerts, it's it's straight carnality. There's no way you're going to a concert to worship the Lord and praise the Lord while you're performing and you are you switch it over to secular music. And he's gonna start singing Michael Jackson songs too, which is just ridiculous. This does not glorify God at all. I don't care if you say you like the songs. We're talking about supposed Christian artists that are that are going on tour to bring out Christian music and to glorify God. Where they're singing songs of Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson also had songs where he would talk to the devil, man in the mirror. And, uh, Michael Jackson had some satanic songs. Michael Jackson was deep in the occult stuff. Deep, 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 deep. And he tried to come out and say, you know, this and that, and they, they just took his life. Because he's speaking too much, right? Um, but, like, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised with Chandler Moore. This is flesh. This is carnality. I wouldn't be, a, I wouldn't be surprised if he went straight just like, Secular. I wouldn't be surprised. Especially that he had especially because he has Kirk Franklin in his corner. We're not surprised the man is singing Michael Jackson and a thousand miles in the church. We're not surprised. What other songs is he dancing to and what other songs did he sing at this concert that weren't of God? And I hope y'all know that Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Jackson was inspired by evil spirits. He was inspired by evil spirits. Wow. You mean that now it has gotten out to a point that they're just going like on stage and doing uh, secular songs, man, I'm telling you, you know, we really ought to have a spirit of discernment. Guys, we really need to pray that God uh, uh, should just actually just give you a spirit of discernment. I'm telling you the truth. Because uh, these are the last days. These are the last times. And uh, the Bible speaks about uh, the level of deception that so many are going actually to be deceived. Even Hosea 4, 6, where it speaks about my people perish. God is saying his own people are the ones who are perishing. His own people. Just think about it. The body of Christ, his own people are perishing. Why? Because they lack knowledge. And that is spiritual knowledge. Knowledge of, of actually being able to discern some of these things. You know, like, for example, if you are an, a gospel musician, you're, your music is supposed to inspire people, uh, actually, just to let them know more about Jesus. Like, there's so much you can sing about Jesus. But think about it. it. It is not enough for Maverick City. Now they're going ahead to uh, sing Michael Jackson songs. Like they're tired now of speaking about Jesus. They're tired of speaking about Jesus. Our greatest commission was to go therefore to the whole world and to preach the gospel to every creature. But now Maverick City are going to the whole world now. They're preaching about Michael Jackson. Yo, so I'm telling you, so let me just play for you again the warning that uh, was sent forth by Celestial, this warning here. Let me just bring They're canceling Maverick City Music and Kirk Franklin, the stripper, their tour. They're turning away from it. Ever since I brought that rebuke, I think in June, it's having an effect. They're waking up. 
They're opening their eyes. They're asking themselves over there in Africa, do we not have enough problems? Do we not have enough issues? Do we really need to add sin to sin as the Bible says? Let these people keep their problems in their own country. Cancel them absolutely. Put pressure on your organizers. Boycott them. I am telling you, when someone comes door to door selling you new lamps for old, as they did in Aladdin, the best thing you can do is to ignore them. Shame them. Reject them. Don't give them entry. Pray them out of the airspace until their plane will literally turn around and come back to LaGuardia and yeah so that is the warning right there but at the end of the day it just depends with you it just depends with you so in this video i've just shared some very uh, crazy things that are happening with kirk franklin and also maverick city so i like to hear what you think about this right there in the comment section if you have not yet subscribed to this platform please subscribe because you know here we say it the way it is it's jesus here 24 hours a day is the author and also the finisher of our faith so we also have a second channel that is called chris baraka and family end time prophecies the link is right there in the description and also on the comment section it's that i've actually pinned it so make sure you check out that channel give it a subscribe like the video that is there and stay tuned there's so much more that god is gonna use that platform for us to do that is actually a platform where we're just going to be uh, doing a lot of bible study and having an in-depth look at all these things that are happening the deception in the world all these the false prophets and crazy things that are happening in this time so and also prophecies that were said some have happened some are about to come what we should expect so it's quite a channel i'm telling you that one is going to be quite a, a, an, an amazing channel so make sure you check that out out so uh, stay blessed and uh, see you in the next video